Hey guys! I came out to this beautiful, quiet place called Canterbury Hills. We are promised rain and sunshine and wind and everything and I actually like that. I love a mixed bag of weather. There's all sorts of photo opportunities on a day like that. So I don't have my macro lens with me today. I'm going to use my 70 to 300 lens. I'm going to get a closer perspective so I might be able to fake a couple of macro shots. We'll see. Sometimes I, I can't breathe, but it feels like you're the one who saves me. When I try, but don't succeed. Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me. The one who saves me. I just got back from Montana and I thought I would catch up with you. It's not easy, but I'm feeling stronger with you. And the days don't work out the way I thought they would. And before you, there was no one who understood. So you guys may have noticed that there is now a merch shelf on my YouTube and Facebook and it's called Lurch Merch, meaning that I have some shirts and other products for sale. I absolutely love art. I love art, I love photography, uh, I can't paint for the life of me. <laughs> My paintings look like kindergarten paintings, but uh, I can draw and I'm really enjoying using Adobe Illustrator to try and create some designs. Now, the other reason for making these designs, I should probably start earning some money from this photography stuff. <laughs> <laughs> to justify and to be able to continue to do my photography and videography, which I have come to love so much, uh, and that is because of you. I love connecting with all of you. I need to make some money, and I am a terrible, terrible businesswoman. <laughs> I used to do wedding photography and portraits and all of that kind of thing, sports, for six years, a few years ago, and I always ended up just giving things away, and my husband, John, uh, whom you've met, has said to me, what are you doing? This is not the way to run a business, and honestly, I'll just confess to you, I am not a good businesswoman. So Teespring is the t-shirt company, the product company that works with YouTube, and they set the prices and all I do is the designs and the rest is handled by them. The printing, shipping, all of that. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that maybe some of my designs would be uh, inspirational to other people. This is one of my designs. I got my uh, sample t-shirt here. Landscape photography, awesome. <laughs> because it is, landscape photography is so awesome. I get out in nature, I get to enjoy, I get to hike, and I get to take pictures of all these beautiful things. So this is one, and there's one that I'm going to upload today, and it was designed by my son, Elijah, when he was in kindergarten, when he learned how to draw stick people. This was his stick person, Jimmy, and he is so passionate for life, and he sold these t-shirts, uh, he did iron-on transfers, he sold these t-shirts at his school to make money for, uh, to make money for a sponsor child in another country. And so I told him I would upload his design, it's Jimmy, and I've also included a special Jimmy design with a camera. And I'm going, I'm going to be ordering a Jimmy shirt, so if you're wondering what is this strange Jimmy shirt? that's what it is and uh and my son his name is elijah so if you see that it's elijah's lurch merch <laughs> it's 
it's a little difficult getting the shots that I'm picturing here because even though it's daylight, <clears throat> it's actually quite dark. The sky is overcast, I'm under trees, and, uh, and that's okay. So I have to lift up my ISO. So I'm on ISO 800, sometimes even more depending on my subject, and F5.6. It's going to give me a very shallow depth of field, and, uh, and that's okay, I like that. I'm, because I'm using the 70 to 300, my shutter speed is a lot slower than it would be if, say, I had a wide-angle lens on. So, in front of me, I have a bee that is sitting on a flower. We have a lot of bee activity this time of year, and this one is just sitting quietly, which is very, very kind of it. <laughs> but there is a slight breeze in the wind, and so it's it's hard to get a high enough shutter speed to actually get the uh, the bee on the flowers to be sharp and still. The other thing is that I would like all of the flowers to be sharp and with this kind of lighting and this kind of uh, movement, the best I can do is try to focus stack. So take an image with the flowers sharp, take an image with the bee sharp and try to put it together. But I'm thinking in this situation it's actually it's going to be very, very difficult to get that done properly. Woohoo! Maybe if I put the blurry part of the flowers off to the side, it won't look like it's not supposed to be blurry. So it's like, take a picture, two second timer, to eliminate the movement on my side, but pray that in that two seconds, the wind doesn't come in and blow. <laughs> but uh, it does, so picture, 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 picture. Oh darn, I love taking pictures. <laughs> okay, let's see what else there is. to uh, the Rocky Mountains in November with a group of you, eight people, and we are going to be going through the incredible Rocky Mountains for a few days and just taking pictures and hiking together. It's going to be fantastic. I would love to do, I mentioned I need to make some money, and I would love to do some workshops. One, because I love teaching. Teaching is fun. Two, I love connecting. I want to connect with you guys. I want to meet you. This is a great way for us to meet and, and have fun. And three, photography is awesome. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that next year I'll be able to run a couple of more workshops. If there are some places that you might be interested in going or even if you just want to tell me, yeah, I'm interested in this, Rachel, or no, I don't really think so. Don't run workshops. What are you talking about? Uh, leave a comment. I'd love to know. But I can't wait to see uh, the eight of you. John and I can't wait to see the eight of you in November in Alberta in the Rocky Mountains. It's going to be fantastic. So another update is I have a new piece of gear and it's been sent to me by Fine Fine Technology. It is a mic. So I'd love to show this to you. It is not the kind of mic that you plug into your camera. Rather, it is a desktop 
mic that has been specifically designed for uh, live streaming, for voiceovers, for that kind of thing. Fine Fine Technology asked me to review this mic. And one thing I've got to tell you right off the bat, it's starting to rain, is that this is a very user-friendly mic. I am by no means an expert at uh, microphones and this kind of technology, but this one is extremely user-friendly for the person that just needs something to plug and play. So you get the base, you can screw the little stand onto it, and there are three parts. So I've got all of them. And then you just screw the stand onto the mic. One second. Don't want to drop it in the woodland here. Very, very simple, okay? Two things to screw in and then a cord. So the one end of the cord goes into the mic and the other is a USB end and it just goes into your computer. At the front, you have a volume knob. At the back, you have a spot to plug in some headphones so that you can hear yourself and how the recording is going. This mic is actually really cool. It is very, very simple. I did not have to do really any calibration to it to make sure that I've got some decent sound. And I took me two minutes to put it together and plug it in and use it. I can use it directly with Premiere Pro. I just hit the voiceover record button and then I speak into it and it plays my video while I talk over the parts that I need to do a voiceover. So I will put a link to some of the videos that I've used this mic on in the description. And uh, I, yeah, it was, it's, it's really great. So I didn't pay for it, they sent it to me. And even though the name looks like Fi Fine, it's not, it's Fine Fine Technology. That's, uh, that's how it's said. And um, but I've looked into it and to me, I think that the cost for this mic, I would buy it. It's really great. Now my sons are uh, eyeballing it and, and they want it for their own uh, computer use. I have four sons and they are uh, computer nerds uh, like myself and uh, yeah, so this is, I have to hide it. <laughs> Try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in you I was feeling lost but you're the one who can make it go away all you have to do is look at me sometimes I There's one thing I just want to mention. I try to always answer all of your comments because they just mean so much to me. But uh, YouTube has this thing where the comments are all listed uh, from newest to oldest, which is fantastic. But when you reply to a comment, YouTube doesn't always put that where I can see it. So if you've ever replied to me and I've missed it, I really, really apologize. If it's something that you really want me to see, maybe make a new comment and, uh, and then I'll be able to see it. I do, I have my, uh, my notifications set to notify me of every single comment and every single reply. So hopefully I will see them in my email inbox if I don't see them on YouTube, but there is the potential that they'll get missed. 
and uh, yeah I want to see your comments so don't be afraid to uh, to bug me a little bit I could just sit here all day thanks for coming along guys <laughs> you're the best I'll see you later bye